Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good. Just a quick disclaimer, Andrea's Attic is an adult channel and the films and videos made for this are intended for adults and in no way, shape or form made for or intended for children. So this is another one of our um, budget friendly pencil videos. So we've already done um, the W. Smith ones and we've done the Black Widow sets as they are. Obviously we're waiting for the new 48 set out so look out for a video on that when it come out. So today we are going with the budget of the budget. We are going to be colouring with the Crayola pencil. So I have got a hundred sets of Crayola in this box. There's a few taken out ready. Um, so this is the 100 count. They, I believe they were 19.99 on Amazon UK. Um, they're not in the original box, they're in this tub. Jennifer uses these ones so um, they're mixed in with other pencils which I've actually taken out. The other ones they're mi mixed in with were Bic ones which I don't use that I bought when I was started colouring and I didn't like them so I went and bought my marker of Rafines instead. So can you colour decent pictures with Crayola pencils? Well the answer to that is yes of course you can. It's just a matter of having a go and seeing what happens. So I have only coloured two pictures with these Crayola pencils and I'm pleased with the two I have. So um, one was a Selena Fennec picture in the uh, Colour in Heaven Mermaids special, issue 31, which was ooh, a long time ago. And I'm just going to find that for you. I should have marked them. I haven't. The second one doesn't matter because it's the first one in the book. Um, so the first picture I ever coloured with these Crayolas was this one. And it's all done with Crayolas. Okay, so everything from her skin, her eyes, her hair, the bubbles, um, her scales, everything was done with Crayola pencils. Okay, so that was the very first one. And the second one I did was on the Jade Summer, so you can see what it looks like on the um, Create Space paper that they use. Um, and it's from the Weddings book. And again, this is all Crayola pencils, and I'm quite pleased with that one. So yeah, I really, I enjoyed doing that. And it's all Crayola, there's nothing else on there. So, so you can get a good result just using the cheapest pencil. So if you can't afford Prismacolors, or Polychromos, or Caran Dash, I can't afford Caran Dash or Holbein's, if you can't afford that or you don't want to splash out on that and um, you really are on a tight budget, you can still colour, enjoy it and get good results. Even the Black Widows, if you want the whole set, you're looking at near enough 100 quid for the whole set when the next 48 comes out. They're £13 a set for the 24s at the moment and around 12 for the skin tones. So that's 50, 60 quid just on the five sets that they've got. Um, it's probably about 80 quid with, for the next one. We don't know what the price point is going to be as yet. We're waiting on that. So again, because I like to use the same type of book when I'm doing these so that it's consistent on the paper, we'll be using uh, Colour in Heaven's uh, Fairy, Woodland Fairy Special. This is an older issue. This is issue 49 um, by Christine Curon. I haven't coloured any of these. This is one of the reasons I'm trying to use up all my... I use up that's the wrong way I'm trying to color in every single book I own at least one picture it's very hard going because I keep buying them so this is one of the ones I haven't colored in so we're going to do uh, one in here there's a lot of grayscale in this book um, so I'm not going to do one of those because I'm not brilliant at grayscale and I like to use the markers on them uh, but there are a lot of ones like this that's the lilac fairy and I nearly did that one um, but we're going to do the daisy fairy because we can do sort of like pink tip daisies when we get to the flowers but we're, we're just going to do some skins first so I have got one two three four five pencils from the hundred set as you can see they are different various skin tones the lightest color I have is almond they have two very similar light colors which is apricot and sand and then this is peach and this is tan. So I always start with the lightest first. So it helps if I have it the right way around. So I'm literally just gonna put a very, very light. Now these do tend to build up quite quickly. And as you can see, you can't really see anything. There's not a lot going on. 
with this very light colour. Sometimes I don't even bother with this lightest one, I go straight in with the peach. So it's, it, it is a very, very light colour. Um, it hardly shows up at all. I can just about see it. It is there. But it's about building up the layer that we're going to be wanting for the skin. And I probably should have picked a smaller area, really. Um, rather than her face. I should have done a... We'll just do her forehead for now. We'll just get it covered. Like I said, with this such a light colour, it's still good. Funny enough, the walls in this room are supposed to be apricot, but they're a lot pinker. More of a peach, I would say. But, yeah. So you can't really see that anything's going down. It is, trust me. I can see it. I like making these videos, I think they It just shows, I mean I'm not a brilliant artist I am not an artist in any way, shape or form I am not a very good colourist I just colour what I like, sometimes I straight colour Particularly if I'm doing mandalas as you know And sometimes I do a bit of darkening and shading and colouring and lightening, darkening and as you see I'm just literally just running this over the top because it's such a dark, a light colour you can barely see it, it's just there for me I can see it and that's what matters it's just to take the white off okay so the main colour we're going to be using will be peach it and, and tan and sand so you'd think sand would be quite yellow but it's actually not so let's have a, a bit of sand at the top here and see what that looks like so again I'm so pressing so lightly you can barely see the colour but there is some colour coming through What we're trying to do is just layer and layer and blend and blend until we get the shade we want. Now you don't have to do your woodland fairies in with light skin tones, they can have dark skin tones. You can do them blue, you can do them green, you can give, make them any colour you want. I've done uh, one uh, uh, which is a book in a book which the picture is called the green lady and I literally did her green and somebody actually commented they never thought of actually colouring anything like that before because people tend to colour people people coloured so we're just going to do this bit above her eyebrows for now I'm going to go a bit over with a bit of peach you can see that the colour is coming through now you can see it's changing colour slightly these they are vibrant pencils you can get some good colour out of them it's just a matter of layering and layering and layering and just not pressing too hard because you get the, the build up then and it's very hard to do anything when you get that horrible build up that, whack, that bloom just I'm talking like I actually know what I'm doing oh it's raining I love the sound of the rain so, so I hope you enjoyed the Black Widows one I know people enjoyed the Smiths one and I do think the Smiths pencils are a brilliant set of pencils um, and if had we gone on holiday this week I would have taken them with me of course you won't be seeing this the week I'm, I was meant to go on holiday so I don't know why I mentioned the holiday I was supposed to go on holiday and I was going to take them and a few extra colours with me but I didn't because it was cancelled. So as you can see we are now getting a nice uh, peachy colour there. So. 
Okay, so we're just going to do this top part here. And then I'll go away and I'll finish her face. And then when I come back, you'll see, I'll do all the skin, you'll see the skin. And it'll be done exactly the way I've shown you how I'm doing it. Uh, the only thing I won't do is um, I will put some blush on her cheeks and I'll, you know, I will show you that. Now this one is not the one I want. I want tan. Now a tan, I usually just put this around the top here. Just around the hairline to darken it down a bit. And I might, and I'll put it around other places as well. It's a lovely colour this sort of tan shade. So as you can see, we are building up a bit of colour on her face now. And like I said, it's just using very light layers. And sometimes I'll, I'll go over faces with a, a, a very pale pink, just to give it that pinky tone. And other times I'll, I'll just put a bit of brighter pink on, on the, the cheeks. So, and I find the more I practice my skin tones by making these videos for you, the better I get at them and the more confident I get. So that's why I like making these and I'm more willing to try things that might go wrong. So it looks a lot darker in real life than it does off camera. So what I'll do now is I'm going to switch the camera off and I'm going to continue doing her face and I'm gonna do all the skin and I'll show you that and then we'll do some other colors. We'll do the daisies and her hair and her dress and, and her background and her wings. So I'm liking the way her skin's looking. I'm just doing these different colors. So I'm gonna crack on with that and then I'll come back and we'll do a bit more, all right? So I finished the, the skin tone. Um, it's a lot darker than you can see on camera. It looks really good. So this was the colours I showed you when I was showing you which colours to use for the skin. So that's done. So I've got some, sorry, there's some pinks underneath my foot. By the way, um, some more colours I've picked out the colours I'm going to use from the 100 set or some of which I'm going to try and use. So I'm going to use a, a nice green on her dress and the bows on her dress, which is down here. So we're going to do that bit next. So I'm just going to zoom in all the way. So I'm just going to, I've, I've already sharpened these so that I don't have to worry about it. And I'm just going to give it a light going over with this lighter green. Like so. Um, I've got lots of different colours out and I'm just going to show you just a little bit of each section like I did before and then I'll go away and I'll finish the picture and then you'll see how it finishes off so I've done that bit of the bow on one one shoulder. So it's a very light colour at the moment. I'm going to put that to one side so I remember which green it is because I've got a lot of different greens. I'm going to take just a slightly darker one now just to go around it a bit. And I'm going to use another dark one after this for a bit more. And then I'll go over it again with the lighter one. So I just put in the colours that I'm actually using to one side so I don't forget. So because she's a woodland fairy I'm going to give her beautiful green eyes as well so I'm just going to do a little bit of darkening it up a bit like so like this and there a bit there some around here just so that it gives it a bit of definition. Um, and then I'll go back over it with the lightest green. So I'm going to do the other bow on her, the shoulder and her dress. 
with these colours. It still needs a bit more dark on it, it's not dark, quite dark enough. So, but we will. I'm just putting it where the lines are really on the thing and on the there, bit here. And that bit there needs to be darker. And just that little bit there. There. So we'll do the, the other bow and her whole dress like that in with those three greens. Um, I've got two reds for her lips. I've sort of find them. I think it's that one, isn't it? Not that one. Not that one. Where's the red gone? I've got one here which is an orange red. And there was another one somewhere, was it this one? Ruby red, that's it. So I'll do her lips now. So just give it a nice light shade. Like so. And here. Like I said, I'm going to keep the colours separate. That I've been using. Just to uh, and again with these pencils, it is just about layering lots of light layers, like so, and, and it builds up very nicely. Now, I've put in some darker red, this ruby red. Again, because your lips will be darker in certain places. So I'm just ensuring we get that, that look. That's it. It's very nice. I'm liking this. Obviously her lips are pretty much finished because they're only a small area. It's not like doing her dress, which is massive, or her hair and eyes. So I won't do it all, but as you can see, from the bit where I've layered it and layered it and layered it, well, I'm just layering and layering, even though I've got the darker red, it just, it builds up very nicely. So next with her with the, the daisies i've got two different yellows because we've got daisies in her hair and we've got a, a daisy down here where she's pulled the petals off so sort of she lo he, she loves me she loves me not or he loves me he loves me not i've got a light yellow which i'm going to put on first like so you can see the colors are very nice they are bright and then i've got a darker sort of a what's it called it's called um, golden yellow, just to give it a bit. So all the the, the daisies in her hair, we will use these two yellows on. And I might even put a little bit light brown in there just to, let me find a little brass one. This one here, just to darken it up a bit, just to give it a bit of thing. And again, we'll do some green on the stems, but uh, Because you can see that uh, nice brown. I don't know if you can see it very well. I've just given it a little bit of. If it'll focus in. Is it going to focus? There you go. Sort of, yeah. Just gives it a little bit of. makes it look a bit more like a flower. So again, I'll put those three out of the way. 
Um, I've got a couple of pinky purples and pinks uh, for the petals or for part of the petals um, because I'm going to do these as a little little bit of pink here on the inside and a little bit at the top like this so they're just pink tipped ones so that's a very bright pink called uh, flamingo pink flamingo and then I've got a darker one called Jasbury Jam, which is next. Just put a little bit of dark around there and on the edge. And then a little bit of a very dark purple, which is literally, I can't read it, Orchid it's called. So, and we'll just put that there. And a little bit there. And we'll put a little bit more pink flamingo in. And like so, just to give it a bit of colour. And then I've got here, I mean, I, there is one more pink, but I'm not going to use that one, which was Razzle Dazzle, but I'm quite happy with the pinks I've got. I mean, I might try it on one of the petals just to give it a bit of different. I've got a white. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over it and blend it out with the white. I'm just put some white over the actual petal and we'll just actually I will use that razzle dazzle I'm just going to put some little pink bits on the petal itself because petals aren't you know petals aren't perfect they are perfect but they're not if you know what I mean so we're going to do the petals will all be like that so that's the petals and her nails will do with with a um I think we'll use the the razzle dazzle She's only got a couple of nails, so let me just find a nail. Here's one. So I'm just going to just give her a light pink nail bed. Make her nails look pink and like a daisy, like so. There we go. And we'll do all her nails just like that. So that's all the pinks. I'll keep that one separate. So what I'm doing is I'm putting these groups of pencils because we don't have a pencil case for these and they're just loose because Jennifer uses them I'm keeping the groups of colour in the colours together the only one I'm going to have to move will be the yellows because I want to put the yellows along with some browns and ready browns into her hair and then I've got two um, for the sky and of course we'll be we've got her wings to do as well which again we'll be using the same pinks as we'd be using on the um the petals so for her hair, it's a slightly, she's got slightly grayscale hair. Um, I'm just, I'll, what I'll do is I'll do this little bit here. I'm literally just going to colour it in like this. And I've got here mahogany. Because she's a woodland fairy, she's going to have sort of brownie wood colour hair with maybe a bit of yellow in it just to give it some low, some highlights. Just like that. And obviously it's going to take me a while to do the whole picture. Like so. And then I've also got brown and dark chocolate. So the mahoganys are red. So I'm going to put a little bit of brown now. Here, just a little bit. On her hair. And of course, it doesn't matter what colour you do um, anybody's hair. You can do it black, you can do it red, you can do it yellow, you can do it brown. You can even do it, you could do her hair green if you wanted. She's a woodland fairy. And I'm just putting light strokes to give it a sort of a texture of, well, hair strands, really. And then what I'll do is I'll get the lightest yellow we had earlier, which is literally just called yellow. And I'm just going to blend all the colours in together with the yellow like that. And that's what her hair. It's, it just makes it look a little bit nicer and a bit more natural than if you 
we're just doing it all in one colour. Just putting different colours in. We'll have a bit more red in there. There are also daisies in the corners, which we'll do the same way. There we go. So, as you can see, I mean, I haven't done huge amounts of it. I've just done little bits and I will do a bit more in a minute. So I am now going to put those back up there with the yellows because it's all the browns and yellows. Um, I'm going to do her eyes. So I'm going to use a very, um, I'm going to use a light green, I think, which is Granny Smith Apple. and you'll see what I do with it in a minute. So we'll just give it a very light, both eyes a very light dusting of this, like so. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker green, which is jade green, like this, just to change the color slightly and make it a little bit more a natural green eye colour now. Next I'm going to grab my um, golden yellow and my brown and I'm just going to put some little flecked, whoops, I broke, lines. You might not see it with the yellow because I've got green eyes and I've got flecks of yellow and flecks of brown in them. Just little lines like that. And then I'm gonna get my Granny Smith. Not that one. That's it, Pom Verde, apple green. And I'm gonna go back over them. Again, it just makes them look a little bit more realistic like so. Now another trick is with eyes is to get a red and in the corner here you see that little bit there you just put a little red there because if you look in your eyes you do have a little red bit there and it just gives eyes a little bit of definition. Now we can obviously let's put the reds there go round and we can give her a little bit of eyeliner I don't normally do this with my pictures I normally leave their eyes without makeup on if it's not already there but as she's a woodland I'm thinking we'll give her a little bit of brown eyeliner just to make her eyes stand out a bit more like you would if you were going out I mean she's already got pretty lined eyes but I just think it's, it's that makes her eyes just look up just a little bit more realistic and I quite like the way the eyes look actually so there we go around this one there we go And then up to the top here. And you could even give her more eyelashes. She's not got a lot of eyelashes to be fair. But uh, there we go, there's her eyes. And that just makes her eyes stand out just a little bit more just by putting that um a little bit of eyeliner around. So I'm gonna do her eyebrows with the same colour that we used the eyeliner for now like that. get rid of those greens because I don't need those at the moment and I don't need the greens again for her eyes we've got another brown here which is just normal brown what brown did I just use it was normal brown there's chocolate there it is 
And on this one we're just going to go like this. eyebrows like that again like this so it's really just to show you what you can do with Crayola pencils if you want to I mean nobody's saying you have you can you don't have to use them but if they're all you can afford or if you're not sure that you want to do coloring you know if you're new to the hobby you don't want to spend a fortune yet you know like I'm you know like some of us have got more expensive pencils I have I haven't got the most expensive pencils I know people who've got uh, the Karen dashes they've got the Holbeins and I, uh, you know I, I can't justify spending that kind of money I can't as much as I love the hobby at the moment I can't justify it because there's more important things for me to spend my money on like Jennifer so that's why I like finding budget pencils I'm really loving her face and if you want to you can put a bit pink blush on her cheeks I haven't done um I might, I might I'm 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 thinking I'm gonna leave it like that. I quite like that sort of more natural look, even though she's got nice red lips. So that's those. The only thing I haven't done now is the sky and her wings. So I'm gonna take that to uh, Razzle Dazzle Pink that we used on our um her nail and I'm going to just get a small section of wing here and I'm going to go over the entire wing in this but for now I'm just going to do a little bit at the bottom so I'm basically going to do it a very light shading of this and like I said I'm going to do the whole wing in this colour like this but then what I'm going to do is put different colours the other pinks and the purple with it so we'll just start off with that light layer there. We'll just do this little section here. Like that. So it's a very, very light layer of pink. And I've got the other pinks and the purples that we used on the daisies. And all we're going to do is we're just going to put some nice, very light lines in this like that, that's that one and then we'll put in some darker here as you can see like that and like that like that and like that, like I said it's very light light layers and we're just doing like that so we're making her wings look like the the daisy as well. And then we get the very the darkest one at the bottom. Like so. Put it up into lines at places like that. Put it down there. Like so. And then we get the light jazzberry one again, or razzle dazzle actually it was. And we're just going to go over it very, very nicely now. Like that. Tied it nicely. Like so. I haven't finished it. I'm nowhere near finished this wing yet. And like I said, this is with one small section of her wings. And she's, you know, we've got the other side to do. And all it is, is we're just making it look a bit like a daisy. This is quite a bright pink, this um, Razzle Dazzle. So we put a bit more of this purple in at the bottom because I quite like that colour. Like that. Just 
that one and a bit more of this lovely most ready pink, I don't know what it's called, this um, raspberry jam I think it was, a bit more of that in. And then we'll just get the white and just go over it all like that. I'll lighten down that bright pink slightly, blend it in and that's how we're going to do her wings. So they're not completely one shade, they're graded uh, and so on. The sky is just going to be blue. I've got two blues here. Cerulean and Absolute Zero. I haven't decided which colour yet. Um, but I'm going to go away now and finish this picture in the way I've shown you. We're going to do all the daisies like that, her hair like that. Finish her lips off and do her wings the way she's doing her dress. And then I'll come back at the end and show you exactly how it, how I finished it off and how it looks. So I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, so I have now finished the picture with the Crayola um, pencils. So when I find it, I'm going to show it to you. I haven't tabbed it. So this was all done with Crayola pencils. So I'm going to zoom in nice and close so you can see the detail. So all of her hair, every single um, piece of this picture was done with Crayola. There was no other pencils used at all. So that just shows you what you can do with a budget friendly pencil. So the 100 pack of Crayola pencils that I picked up cost me $19.99 from Amazon. Are they worth it? Can you colour with them? Yes and yes. If you are on a very tight budget and you cannot afford to buy polychromos or Prismacolors, they are definitely worth it. They are very low end. Um, it is harder to work with. People say you can't blend with them. You can, but they are more difficult than, say, a uh, soft core pencil, such as the poly, but not the polys, but the Prismacolors and, say, the Derwent Color Soft, which are very easy to layer and blend. Polychromos obviously are built to be layered and they layer lovely. Um, these will bloom very quickly if you don't use very light layers. However, if you're just starting out in colouring and you don't know if you're going to like colouring, if you don't want to spend a fortune or you can't afford high range ones and you want to save up for a higher range pencil but you, you want to colour now, there's nothing wrong with getting the 100 set of Crayola pencils. They will certainly do you proud. Um, I would say after these get the Black Widows because you can get them in tins of 24 and then there are two tins of 12 and they are I think £13 for the 24 and around 12 for the 12s and the new 48 set is out soon and that's estimated to be around £27 so you could then build up your pencils very slowly if you're determined to get the Prismas and the Polys um, and you're, you're willing to wait get something like the Crayolas and save up your money until you can afford to get them or wait for them to go on sale on Black Friday. I think I got my polychromos on Black Friday and I did. They were Black Friday and they were £120 for the 120 set. They were really cheap for polychromos. And my Prismacolors were 80 when they were on offer or around £88 when they were on offer. So yeah, you can do a lot with them. They are worth picking up if you can't afford a higher brand pencil or you want to save for a higher brand pencil but you still need something to colour with. So that is what I think of the Crayolas. It's definitely doable. There's four layers in her hair, four different colours in her hair, four different colours on the daisy leaves. So there's no reason. There's four different colours on her wings as well actually. There's no, obviously you think there might even be five. There's no reason why you cannot get a good result with Crayolas. Like any pencil, do be careful with them. The leads will break. I found that with the purple one I was using, um, the lead kept breaking, but I think that's because Jennifer's had them and she's been, she just throws them around and does all sorts with them. So it's, the rest of the pencils were fine. It was just that one. She's got a thing for purple at the moment. 
but yes absolutely worth picking up a set of these um so a set of travel pencils if you don't want to take your expensive ones with you but you still want to colour. I, I could see me taking them um, rather than taking a set of mine and a set of Jennifer's pencils on holiday. I could see me just saying right this would just take the tub of um, Crayolas and have done with it. So that's what I think of the Crayola 100 count of pencils. 19 on Amazon if I can find them if they're still available because they might be sold out due to things that are going on. If I can find a link to them for UK and US, I will pop it down below so you can use that to pick them up if you so wish. I'll be definitely investing in another set for Jennifer when she um, destroys this lot. She's good at that. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up, uh, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.